Hi and welcome to library registration system developed using Bootstrap Kit, CSS, PHP and HTML. Now let me show you guys how this works. In here I'm going to enter members details. Yeah, it's a lecturer and let's enter that and title is a professor and the name, let's say the name is Hey yeah, Suleiman. Uh, what's his name? Okay, good Suleiman got son. Date of bed. And it's male. Where does he live? Somewhere there. And let's see that would be his email. There we go. Telephone number there. And books. That's the ISBN of the book and author Johnny Davis dates and let's just say yeah, that'll be about 10 days and no fine none and none here as well is the book missing no and the book let's just select maybe i fly and um, whatever you can just document anything in there there we go there so all you just need to do is to click on sign in and before i click on this let me show you guys the database that is the database there's no information of suleiman there okay let's go straight back in there so i'm now going to click on that there we go and let's see successfully saved so let's come in here just kind of like refresh go back in there and there we go guys we should be able to see the information of Suleiman right there there that's Suleiman's information right underneath there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys to notepad plus plus where we'll put something like this together using bootstrap kit html php and css so let's do that now guys Welcome back guys, I'm going to start by clicking on notepad but before I do anything let me take you guys straight to to bootstrap so right in here I've got bootstrap and that is the URL for bootstrap which I'm going to include in my description area but the first thing I want to do is I want to click on download because I need to download the CSS and the JS files right here so let's just click on download there we go and I'm going to just click on save yeah that is saved I will now go take you guys straight into my download area and there we go that is it right there that is it so if I don't click on that I will click on that or unzip it. I actually need this. Just those two files. I'm gonna copy them and just paste them straight inside my let's click on the C drive. I'm right there. Okay. I've already pasted the files and there they are guys. Yeah, those are the two files. Now the next thing I want to do is is to open up my notepad so let's just click on that there and I will now select the language I intend to use just click on language come right here select PHP and I'm going to enter as follows there we go now I'm going to save this as library system so let's come in and just save us right there I'm just going to paste that in there or let's just type in library or let's say sist that's fine dot php save there we go now before i continue i like to call where i have those files so let's say link that will be as follows so that's going to be style style sheet close that 
space and that will be referenced as follows and I'll just say equals there and one other thing I'm gonna need is let me just enter the type of file let's say type what should we type really type equals and that is going to be text slash CSS there okay right underneath here I'm just going to enter my title there and I will also enter a paragraph breaker there then let, let's come in here and just say divide let's go for class equals container so let's close that let's close the dev here right now the next thing I like to do in here is I'm just I'm going to create my the data I intend to enter so let's say that's going to be class equals row close that and this class equals row because bootstrap itself has uh, 12 columns in total I'm going to make this one this very class I'm just gonna make it 4 by 4 by 4 that would make give me 3 rows in total all right let's say column equals dash dash 4 right close that and close that now okay I'm gonna close this here that row needs to be closed as well so we need to yeah that will be for the row and there so this is one one column here and second column and the third column in here now this very first column so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table right in there let's say table and that table we have as follows let's define a row and and this row let's say it's gonna have a table data of as follows okay and that would be for let's say that would be for my member type member let's go type right and let's close that table uh, the data I mean and beside it I'm going to create another data I will go in there and I'm just going to call that input and this very input a type will be text equals text and so on okay that's my very first text so I can just copy and change this around I'm going to need about I think 10 of those anyway so let's just copy paste there I have 10 information there that will be on the table so that's the first part of the table and I'm going to then save it now let's go to my browser and just see how this very one will look like so let's come right here and that will be the live library system yeah there we go that's my very first one so all I just need to do now is just to change it around but let's come in here I'm going to copy all of these as well and just paste it on the second column here right in here there save go back in there and refresh okay that is that underneath there as well I think it's like that because I haven't closed the table let's go back in here and just close the table right here so let's say table let's close that then we open up the other table close that and close this as well there we go 
so now I'm going to copy this table, table copy and paste it right here and get this one close as well then we'll refresh that and see save back in the browser refresh there and all I just need to do now is change the details that I have on each of these components around so let's speed that up Okay, so that shouldn't take long. Let's speed it up. Okay, I have speed that up. So here are the lines of codes. The only difference now is I have male and female there. So I'm gonna save that. Let's go back to, to our browser and just refresh that. There we go, look at that. And I've also added a button, okay now let's go back to the codes right in here you will see i've enter required required so the reason being if i click on those buttons or on that very button the system will say the following data are required okay that's the whole idea so let's go back in here now one more thing i would like to do let's draw a line here so right underneath here, I'm just going to say, give me an horizontal line. So that's going to be class equals MB, and the spacing in between will be about three. Yeah, come out here, save that. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other one here. Come right down, copy that and come right here paste that in there and i'm going to paste another one in here before i finish up with that save that come right here and just refresh and you should be able to see the lines okay now what i want to add in here is going to be text area so let's do that come back in here and scroll right down okay I'm now going to add option box here so I'll first of all click my table as well there we go guys and that will be the first name of my of the books and the library so we'll save that let's go here and just refresh there and underneath here I'm going to need something like a text area here why not let's add a text area right underneath here it's still going to be right in here so just right here it's a text area and the row i would like the row to be about let's go for four and what about column i'm going to make the column about 30 that should do and close that up close the text area there paste that and close that off and we also need to close off the that will be the text okay close that off and close this there okay let's save that and see what's gonna happen with the test area there's nothing in there so come right here and just try that out I should be able to see my text area in there yeah that's my text area here text area all right so everything is fine apart from I need to add more books there so let's come in here and just copy this and change it around copy that paste 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 okay because I say multiple line I can select multiple line that's fine paste that see here that means I can select multiple rows so save that come right here just refresh and there we go so all I need to now do is just to change the names, the titles of the books. Right, let's come right here and get that straightened out fast. There we go guys. 
so those are the names of the books that I just made up okay and right underneath here you I have a line in there as well and then so have a good look at the lines of codes let's move this up so that you guys can see what's there there we go right there so I'm gonna save that right let's save let's see okay alright collapse that now saved let's come in here and just refresh and there we go those are the names of my books they're all in place okay I'm going to carry out a lot of modification to this interface before I start work with the back end so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to go to to bootstrap and right here if you don't know where that is the text you just need to enhance the text all you need to do is supposing you're on the home page come straight to the document and just type in text there you will see a lot of information on how to enhance your text so I'm going to come here I want to increase the size of my heading and also kind of like make it bold and right here I'm going to be using this look at it class equals font with bold so I'm just going to copy all of that I love this system and let's come right in here and there we go look at my library there space paste yeah, that's all there is to it look at it okay and I'm gonna save that there's something I like to draw your attention to because I didn't really talk about it that is my sign sign up button so don't let don't get that confused all right let's just save it and come right here there we go I think it's right up here yeah and I'm just going to refresh there look at that it's now bold I like that okay the next thing I want to do is let's change the back color the background color so I'm going to come back in here bootstrap background color if you don't know where that is just type in background color there we go and you also have the color in gradient and so on so right there so what I'm gonna do is let's see the class that I intend to use I'm gonna come right here I prefer the info if I copy all of these there copy all of that and let's go back to my notepad plus plus and I'll just paste that inside the body right there paste there but the problem is you see this text that will change the heading to white but let me just show it to you guys run it and come right here let's refresh and there we go that is it white and the lines that I have in there cannot be seen properly but I'm not bothered with that that's alright you guys know how to do that now anyway so what I'm gonna do is you see this table I'm gonna put a border around each of those tables as well and this color that is white it's beautiful though but because the border around this table is gonna be black I want to change this to black as well so I'm just gonna come right here you see where I have text white I'm gonna get rid of that there we go save that come back here refresh and that becomes black now one other thing we need to do is I'm going to now change the color for those table let's come right here the table let's come right here I want it to be black but let's see the color of black in here we have it as dark I think that would be that, I think that's it dark yeah let's see copy that 
Okay, let's copy it up to here, class DAC. If not, we change it around. Okay, let's go back to my notepad and where is the container? That is the container. I don't think I need a class there, so I'm gonna get rid of the class. I just want this. So let's come right here, just this one. Get rid of them. There. And get rid of these. Let's see how the white background will look or the white text will look on and it is saved now. Okay, as you can see the class is added to the main the main division section. So let's come in here. Oh no, I need to save that. Save. Come back back in here. And where is it? Right there. And just refresh. There. Okay, the white background, the white text. Okay, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is, and now I'm going to add this blue on the table. So let's go back in here. So I might as well just copy that. Let's come right here. Info information. We'll copy that class, and that class will be right inside of my tables paste the first one save that and test it first refresh yeah that's the first one so let's repeat the same for the others so let's come right here the other table in here paste and also paste one here there we go save get back in here refresh there now if you guys look underneath here it's kind of like empty it's like there's nothing happening there so i need to cover that up with maybe something blue okay let's get back to my notepad okay so right here let's see yeah right here i'm going to create another rule create one rule here and we're going to close that up here close that up here and in here let's draw a line an horizontal line and I'm going to say class for this horizontal line equals as follows so let's see what we're going to copy in there so we can copy all of this here and just dump it right there and that should hopefully take care of that let me save it and we'll run it and see how it's gonna look like okay notice how it's looking now just refresh you see that but it seems to have actually pulled it down i don't like it that way so let's get rid of this i'm gonna get rid of the p3 and let's save that let's leave it as M2. yeah that's fine look at that we still have the line in there which is good so that's fine I can even make that line 3 okay that's fine let's see we'll make it 3 and I'm going to copy this use it for the other one anyway copy scroll right down yeah it's meant to be right here yeah just before the table is closed so let's come in here, save that, and refresh our browser. There we go. Look at that. Even the lines are there. Yeah. All right. The other thing I've noticed is the blue line is not even with this. So let's go back to my Notepad plus plus. Um, instead of three, I'm just gonna make that two come back here and come back here as well change that to two that should resolve the whole problem take a good look at it refresh there that's fine so i can officially say my interface is kind of like ready okay one other thing is maybe i should change this text maybe i should change it to black and make it bold yeah let's see how that's gonna look like so come right here the container get rid of that 
get rid of the white and let's look for bold okay make that bold and let's see how that's going to look like copy that and just paste that bold function in there save come back here refresh yeah it looks yeah it looks cool I'm going to leave this for a while I might change my mind but for now let's just leave it there okay now let's start work with the back end in the case of the back end is just for me to create a database so I'm going to now come in here open up a new browser and in here I need my exam database come right in here just click on that PHP my admin and right here guys I'm going to select new so let's give my new database a name I'm going to call it okay let's just say register your library and create click on create there we go now I'm going to make the number of the table okay, 21 we need to give our table a name so let's just say library system there so lab system that's fine click on go to create my lab system there we go so for the first row I'm gonna call that ID and I'm gonna set the value of that to integer and that is good let's go for about 20 and let's come in and just change it to let's say auto and yeah primary key so it's going to automatically increment so that is fine now underneath I'm going to enter member type and member type the value for the member type I'm going to make that let's say virtual and we can just make that about 50 that's cool and that's that is that let's come in here this will be my reference number ref number yeah there and data type for the reference number is going to be integer and let's say about 20 as well so I'm just going to speed that up I believe you guys get the whole idea okay guys I had to speed it up and there they are those are the rules for the library information system ID member type reference title first name so name and you can also see the data type and the value for each data type date of birth gender address email telephone number book ID book title auto date borrowed date due date on loan last return fine date overdue selling price if it's missing there that is it guys so all I'm all I just need to do now is to click on save there we go my database is created all I need to do now is to be able to address this database using the front end the database is my back end so like I said earlier on that is the name of the database itself and that's the name of my table all right so let's come in here now let's come into notepad okay let's use PHP to to communicate with my database so I'm going to start by entering PHP there it's left to you you can always if you want you can create a different a new page entirely but I just don't want you guys to get confused so I'm, I'm going to paste that right on top of my HTML page and so on so right here I'm going to say the host the host 
equals it's gonna be localhost localhost there we go and the next one is going to be database name the database name that is equals root there and what about the password db password and that it will be nothing I don't want no password on it let's put a semicolon here and a semicolon here and my database name and that is the most important part of it let's come in here I must not get that wrong database name call it register there let's verify that name really so let's come back in here and that is going to be what register lab okay come back in here yeah I've got that right so I'm going to now use PD new PD just speed that up there we go Okay, the next thing I want to do now is uh, first thing first, let's, let me just add another PHP here. It's going to be right inside the body. And I really want to clear everything. So, first thing first, let's say name and PHP here. And let's close that here as well. Right and in between here what I want to do is I'm going to create clear all of the variables so that there won't be any error let's say message uh, member type okay equals clear and after that I'm going to clear the reference number uh, let's say ref number that should be an F right equals clear and I then have a title clear the title as well right I have first name and surname okay I'm gonna speed that up all I'm just doing in there is just clearing the tables just clearing the rows when you run the system we don't want any error before entering the data so let's do one for surname there let's just pick that up okay right underneath here I'm going to use an if statement let's say if okay if is create so and I want you to create as follows so now here what I want you to create is the following every single content in here. I'm going to copy that and just paste it right in there. So that will sort of like save time. Now, what do we want this to create? I'm going to come in here, let's tab, and in here that's going to be is post right there, and that will be member type. enter a quote in there as well and just paste that in there there that's the first data created so let's see yeah so I'm gonna repeat the same thing for the other one can even copy and just modify it paste that in there and the next one is going to be reference number there we go now we also have the title let's move this back a little bit yeah 
so the next one is going to be for my that will be for the first name and just change that to first name right I presume you guys get the whole idea so I'm just gonna speed that up okay what I'm trying to achieve here is to make sure I'm able to attach all of my whatever data I enter on my registration form straight onto the database okay and in here I said create I want it to create as follows so which means if I click on my button here there that will officially create the database all right and I also have a registered ID I might use that later on but that is the button okay that will make it all happen so let's come down here now the next thing we want to do is to use SQL so I'm going to say SQL so my variable SQL, I would like it to insert all of the following there. And I've also called my table. That's the name of my table, if you guys can still recall. And right here, let me show you the name of the table. There we go, that is it. That's my table. I'm now calling that very table. Okay and the database name that's the database name that i've already called right up here all right so let's go back down in here so each of the columns on the table is now addressed um whatever value is a question mark in total that will be 20. okay now the next thing we want to do is come right down here so in here I'm going to say database enter equals as follow so equals all of this so all of the data is then executed okay because you can see those are the names of my columns there right every single column is right there in total is 20 so I want it executed. Now we use an if statement to validate whatever value we enter in there. So right underneath here, I'll say if the database entered this very one here, copy all of that, paste it there, and close that open up a bracket and close that as well so now I'm just going to ask it to echo that will just be let's say successful or entry successful entry successful okay else I'm going to use say let's say entry else let's echo something out there okay let's just say error saving the system something like that data there save that so it's decision time now let's just look at each line of code first before before running it so come right down and say okay so I'm just gonna save and let's go to my browser check that right and the name of the system is let's see there let's see okay we have an error line 8 what happened there let's go back in here line number 8 and there's okay right above line number eight I'm missing a comma there and we also need to add a form here there we go okay right up just right above the library I've added a form and the method of posting it okay and the action so 
soul save so let's go back to my browser okay back in here let's refresh there we go and uh, so let's enter some data in there and let's see let's say miss lucy lucy got some data bet and female address of miss lucy and email of lucy let's just change that to lucy there okay now telephone number books and uh, that 27 and 10 here find oh, none of those none and no and in here i'm just going to enter some comment there so let's click on sign up there we go okay we have another error this is not recognized on the database date overview so let's copy that i'm now going to go straight inside my let's find that anyway and all right that's correct in here okay let's go back to my database when they i believe okay structure take it down i have day overdue there so let's change that to date overdue let's paste that in there right save that i'm back to the structure date overdue or day overdue whatever but that's fine let's come back in here and make sure this is saved let's go back in here and refresh the whole system there so let's try that again so i'm going to enter some other data in there there we go let's say it's a professor and the name of this professor is larry Larry Moore, date of birth, mail address of Larry Moore. There we go, and telephone number, books, tie to yeah. ten. And here we have none. some comment in there so let's try it out entering is successful look at that that is it guys we finally got it right so let's come straight to the database and check and make sure all of those information are on my database let's see there we go look at that look at Larry's information that is good guys all right so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and you all have a nice day and bye for now